there is some controversy brewing over an alligator seized from a home in Hamburg. Yeah, the man who owned it as a pet has had the reptile as a companion now for more than three decades. And tonight we're getting our first look inside the man's home, complete with a special indoor pool for the alligator. It's a habitat, as you see, that rivals something that you might see in a zoo. There's even a petition circulating on change.org tonight to have Albert the alligator return to his home. More than 20,000 people have already signed it. Our Michael Schwartz giving a voice to its owner today who wants to be reunited with his 11 foot, 750 pound friend. This is Albert the alligator, an 11 foot, 34 year old gator weighing more than 800 pounds. I'm Albert's dad, that's all there is to it. He's, my, he's like family to everybody. Tony Cavallaro got Albert at an Ohio reptile show in 1990. He was two months old when I got him, he was captive born. He don't know nothing but people his whole life. This is Albert's room, which Tony built an extension on his home just for his gator, who was taken from here on Wednesday. My yard swarmed with DEC cars are up the road. On Wednesday morning, the DEC seized the gator with the help of police and the SPCA, citing Albert was illegally kept without a permit. They wouldn't let me out here to see him taking him out of here. And then they loaded Albert into the back of the, um, the cargo van and just laid him in there. Laura Lautner lives next door. It's just, it was really upsetting how it was handled. This is the permit Tony has for Albert. It expired in September of 2021. He tells me he tried getting it renewed by the DEC. They would not answer me, so this is on them. The DEC says Albert was blind in both eyes and had spinal issues. Tony says none of that is true. As far as claims that children swam with Albert, Tony says kids have posed for pictures in the pool, but it wasn't often. And they got right out and they washed, we washed and dried them off or whatever. But many people are fans of Tony and Albert together. Thousands have rallied on social media blasting the DEC for seizing the 34 year old gator. Some even making shirts to take Albert back. He's not having alligator get togethers or parties and he's just a neighbor and he's a really nice guy and he loves that alligator and treats it really, really well. The drumsticks. The DEC says the gator is now in the care of a licensed caretaker. A spokesperson tells me even if Cavallaro did still have a license for Albert, any public contact with the reptile would be prohibited. I'm sorry. Michael Schwartz, 7 News Hamburg.